Flu researchers around the world are keeping their eye on a new strain of the H7N9 virus, otherwise known as the bird flu, which is emerging in China. CCTV's Han Pong is in Beijing with the very latest. People in Beijing are enjoying the spring sunshine. So far, no cases of H7N9 has been reported in the capital. The medical authorities are hoping it will stay that way. But the disease has already spread out of Shanghai and Anhui. In the first three cases we found, two of them had been handling poultry. But in the third case, he hadn't left his home for two weeks before he started to get a fever. So based on what we have now, we still don't know what the source of the infection was. That means doctors are still not sure what medical steps to take to protect ourselves. The nation's capital is now closely monitoring the situation and has included H7N9 into inspection system. Beijing has initiated an emergency system for the H7N9. It will include the flu into the monitoring system. All the hospitals in the capital will enhance monitoring of the virus. Hospitals will report to disease control centers whenever they spot a suspected patient. New vaccines have also arrived in the capital. Test is going on to see if it can combat H7N9. On the street, people seem to be relatively at ease. I feel there's nothing to fear. It's still far from Beijing. I hope people who feel ill will go to the hospital quickly and not bring the infection to other areas. I believe China's medical technology is capable of dealing with H7N9. I hope doctors will develop effective vaccines as soon as possible. But some say the danger is by no means distant. With a major national holiday taking place tomorrow, China will soon be on the move again. The Tomb Sweeping Festival will attract millions into the capital, and there is concern that people will get close contact with the nature and may be at more risk than before. And what we can do to reduce the risk? Doctors advise people to wash hands frequently, stay away from wild birds, and not to eat uncooked chicken or eggs. Perhaps a healthy habit is more effective than the best vaccines we can get. So let's uh, recap the latest for you. Uh, there are now nine confirmed cases of this rare strain of bird flu. Once again, it is known as H7N9. Now, the two latest cases were confirmed in Zhejiang province. This comes on the heels of four confirmed cases in Jiangsu province on Tuesday. Three cases, of course, were reported late last month. Three of the patients have already died from this new strain. The World Health Organization says it doesn't know if this strain has the potential of being as lethal as the H5N1 strain. Of course, you'll recall that bird flu is responsible for 371 deaths since 2005. The bird flu virus occurs naturally, and it is highly contagious among birds. Now, human symptoms, in case you're wondering, they include a cough, fever, sore throat, and muscle aches. Symptoms usually begin showing within two to five days of infection and it can feel like the normal flu.